Hey, I'm Ryan Lagarde. And I'm Craig Tovey. And welcome to Storytime with Ryan Lagarde. And Craig Tovey. Remember, just go to ryanandcraig.com to search our full library of breath they can read aloud. To check out all our Superfly merch. To book us for a captivating video chat. Or to send us a personal message. I have a message. Right. Today's episode is brought to you by our pals over at Pete the Cat Club. And to watch even more of our stupendous Pete the Cat Readalouds, visit their channel linked below. But not right now. No, not now. After. Right after. Yeah, right after. Because today's book is... <gasps> Pete, Pete the, the Cat's, Cat's Got Class. Class by James D. Mean. Let's get started. Yeah, you had to wait. I knew, I knew. Wait it was gonna, for it. I knew. You knew it was going to come back. And it did. A little bit. Pete, Pete the, the Cat's Got, got class, class by James D. It's math time, says Pete's teacher, Mr. G. Pete the Cat loves math. He loves how the numbers work together. If I had three red blocks and four yellow blocks together, how many blocks would we have in all, says Mr. G. Pete raises his hand. Seven blocks, says Pete. Three plus four equals seven. Very good, Pete, says Mr. G. Whoa, Pete's good at math? Wow, Pete, way to go. Yeah, you know, I'm not great at math. I'm more of an art guy. And I gotta say, I'm not great at math either. I've been more of like a writing and reading guy. But I always looked up to people that could do math good. My sister was amazing at it. My brother's so good at math, and I think that's so cool. I want to be good at math. We don't, have, we don't have to give up now. Ryan and Craig are going back, back to, to school. school. We'll let you know how it goes. Oh, I thought we were freeze framing. Oh, I thought, Let's yeah. do it again. Yeah. Okay. Ryan, Ryan and Craig, Craig are going, going back, back to school. school. We'll let you know how no, it goes. No, no, you oh. hold the freeze frame. Oh. Hold, hold it. Okay, you can't just do it later, like just freeze no. us? I have to hold it the whole time? Yeah, and then- That's and what then, they do in and movies? And then the title comes up or something. And they're holding it? I think so. Oh, okay, I got it. One, two, three. Ryan, Ryan and Craig, Craig are going back, back to school. school. Just keep going, gosh. Mr. G asked the class a subtraction question. If I take two blocks away from seven blocks, how many blocks will be left? Pete raises his hand, but the teacher calls on Tom. Nine, says Tom. Pete feels bad for Tom. Tom is super smart. He can name all the dinosaurs. He just has trouble with math. Pete has an idea. He will help Tom become awesome at math. Helping is cool. On the bus home from school, Pete sits next to Tom. Do you want to come over to play? Tom asks. I got some cool new race cars for my birthday. Awesome, says Pete. We can do our math homework, and then we can race the cars. I hate math, says Tom. You don't hate math. Pete tells Tom. You just don't love it yet. Whoa, Pete, he's like a real real positive dude. Yeah, I mean, he's not only a teacher of math, he's a teacher of life. Yeah, optimism. Very cool, Pete. You know, myself, naturally, more of a skeptic. I'm usually like a wait and see kind of guy. Yeah, but Pete, that positivity. That optimism. Where can we learn that? Uh, Ryan, Ryan and, and Craig, Craig are going, going back, back to school. school. Hold on. I'm holding. This is so okay. hard. Oh, go back to Jim. Whew. Pete sets up some blocks. If I had five blue blocks and three orange blocks together, how many blocks will I have in all? This is boring, says Tom. Can't we play with my race cars? This gives Pete a great idea. Sure we can, he says. Pete lines up some race cars. If five red cars are going to the racetrack and five yellow cars are going to the car wash, how many cars are on the road? He asks. Easy, says Tom. Ten cars, like a traffic jam. Now what if two of the cars stayed home? Pete says. How many cars would be left? Hmm, says Tom, studied the lineup. Eight cars. Right, says Pete. See, I told you that math is awesome. Pete quizzes Tom on one math problem after the next. Four cars minus one. Three, says Tom. 
Eight cars plus seven, says Pete. Fifteen, says Tom. I can't believe it. I'm doing math and I'm loving it. Pete and Tom do their homework. Let me know if you need my help, says Pete. Thanks, says Tom. But I know what I'm doing now. The next day, Pete hands in his math homework. Tom does too. After lunch, the teacher passes back their assignment. Pete and Tom each got one wrong. I'd like to see you two after class, Mr. G says. You both know not to copy someone else's homework, says Mr. G. We didn't copy, says Pete. You both got the exact same answer wrong, Mr. G tells them. Oh no, they're being accused of cheating? Wow, and it really does look like they copied each other. But we know that they didn't because we saw them doing their homework separate from one another. But how do we know how to prove that they didn't copy each other? I don't know, is proving that something you learn at school? I don't know, but I'll tell you this. Ryan, Ryan and Craig, Craig are going back to school! It hurts. No, so. no, that you're just one. What? Hold until I release. Uh, how can we prove that we got the answers on our own? Says Tom. I know. Pete tells him. Bring your race cars to school tomorrow. Why? Tom asks. You'll see. Says Pete with a smile. The next day, Pete and Tom get to school early. What are all the race cars for? Asks Mr. G. To show you how Tom got to be so good at math. Says Pete. Give Tom a math problem. Pete says. Any math problem. I'll get it right. Says Tom. Without Pete's help. Mr. G gives Tom one math problem after the other and Tom uses the race cars to get all the answers right. Wow, says Mr. G, I am impressed. Pete helped me by making math fun, Tom says. I think that's something we can all learn from Pete, Mr. G says. Take it from Pete, math is neat. You know what, Craig, I agree, math is neat. Oh, it's very cool. But you know what? I also have to admit, I don't have time to go back to school. I have a lot going on. Yeah, I got a lot of projects. I got I got bills to pay. Yeah, I got work to go to. I just had a baby. Me too? Yeah. I mean, that's a lot. I think there's only one answer, Ryan. And I think I know what you're going to say. Ryan, Ryan and Craig, Craig are going, going back to reading. It's so hot in here. It's just <laughs> it's insane to hold a it's pose too hot. for that long. I'll just, you know, dude, you know what? You can just add a freeze frame. In. That's what I was saying. I forgot. Sorry. Harumph. Pete, Pete the, the cat's, cat's got class. class by James Dean.